Birds of the Wild West, the US Marshal Service. The myth goes that the Old West was a lawless place, a bandit country, where crooks ran free. But much of that comes from Hollywood. They were bad men, sure, but they were also lawmen. Lawmen keeping the peace. And some of those folks were deputies of the US Marshal Service. They are the eldest of America's lawmen. George Washington himself established the Marshals in 1789, and they're still very much active today. But these lawmen are a far cry from the desperado hunters of old. Legend goes that the Marshals really helped the law tame the Wild West. Back then, some areas were a threat from bandits and the likes. Even the simplest of journeys required nerves of steel. But that era's days were numbered after Uncle Sam's boys saddled up. Billy the Kid, Jesse James, Butch Cassidy, the Wild Bunch. These are just some of the outlaws the Marshals hunted. But it wasn't just all bad guys and guns. The Marshals had other chores including taking the U.S. Census. They also served subpoenas, made arrests, and guarded the borders. And sometimes, they did stare death in the face while confronting an outlaw. But not all these lawmen did was noble and just. Some marshals had to chase down runaway slaves and return them to the places they'd fled. Others had to register so-called enemy aliens during times of war. Needless to say, times and the marshals have changed. Wyatt Earp and Wild Bill wore the US Marshal stars did many other men of the time. Over 200 have been killed since 1796. The life of a lawman, if anything, is a dangerous one. But it's here, folks, that our tales of the Old West come to a close. Do you want some more on the myths and history beyond Red Dead? If so, sound off below and let us know.